In this example, we're going to work to find the exact value for the tangent of 37.5 degrees. And we'll do so by using this half angle identity for tangent. And we had a few choices here for this half angle identity, and I went with 1 minus cosine x over sine of x. And we will also employ a couple of supporting identities because we'll need to use those for the cosine and sine values here. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to say that the tangent of 37.5 using this half angle identity can be rewritten as, well, we need an angle x that when I divide it by 2, I get 37.5 degrees. Well, 37.5 times 2 will be 75 degrees. So I'll say the tangent of 75 degrees over 2 equals, and then we can use this expansion here. So 1 minus the cosine of that x value, which is 75 degrees, divided by the sine of that x value, so 75 degrees again. So the sine of 75 and the cosine of 75 probably are not values that you have right off the top of your head. So that's why we're going to use these uh, supporting identities to go ahead and get these two values. And so here's the way this is going to look. So we need the cosine of 75 first. So we'll say the cosine of 75 degrees can be rewritten as, and we're going to use this expansion, but we need two angles that are nice to work with that add up to 75. So it seems like we could use 45 degrees and 30 degrees. All right, so we can use our identity here that has this expansion. So we'll say it's going to be the cosine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees, and we'll subtract from that product the sine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. Okay, and now all these values are nice values that we know. So the cosine of 45 is radical 2 over 2, the cosine of 30 is radical 3 over 2, and from that we'll subtract, and we have the sine of 45 and the sine of 30. Alrighty, so it seems like it should be the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4, and we'll say that rascal is the cosine of 75 degrees. And we'll kind of put that aside for a second. And so the other one that we need is going to be the sine of 75 degrees. And we'll do that basically the same way. We'll break it down. We'll use this sum identity and we'll use 45 degrees and 30 degrees again. But this time we'll be using the sine here, so we'll use this expansion. So we'll have the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees plus the sine of 30 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees. And once again, all these values are really nice. So the sine of 45 is radical 2 over 2. Cosine of 30, radical 3 over 2. And to this product, we'll add. So the sine of 30 and the cosine of 45, which looks very similar to what we just had, except you'll notice the sign in the middle is different. All right, so here are these two values. The cosine of 75 has this minus, and the sine of 75 has this plus. Otherwise, they are very much the same. All right, so going back now to our tangent of 75 degrees divided by 2, we have 1 minus that cosine value all divided by that sine value. So let's go ahead and put it all together. 1 minus, and so 1 minus this cosine value, so it'll be the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. And we'll put those in parentheses since we are substituting in. And then all over that sine value, which will just be the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. So now it's time just to simplify this as much as we can. So in the numerator, it looks like we have a fraction whose denominator here is 4. So let's go ahead and change this 1 into a 4 over 4. And we'll also distribute this negative. So it will look like 4 minus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. 
And the denominator here, uh, well, can't do much with it, so we'll just bring it along for the ride. And so here we have this complex fraction, so let's multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So 4 over the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2, and that's really nice because those 4's will cancel. And so we have 4 minus radical 6 plus radical 2, all over radical 6 plus radical 2. Well, okay, well, we don't really like to have all of these radicals, especially in the denominator. So let's go through the process of rationalizing the denominator. So we'll multiply both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator. So we'll change the sign in the middle. So we'll multiply by radical 6 minus radical 2. And I'm going to get parentheses around everything so we don't make a mistake when we multiply. All right, so... The numerator, we'll take the 4 and distribute it through, and then we'll go each term in succession. So, 4 radical 6 minus 4 radical 2, and then it looks like minus 6 plus 2 radical 3. And that 2 radical 3 we got from the square root of 6 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 12, which can simplify to 2 radical 3. And that'll happen one more time right there, and then minus 2. And so all of that is over. Well, 6 minus 2. Well, that's 4. Hey, that's actually pretty nice. Okay, well, let's combine all these like radical terms here. And it looks like we'll have 4 radical 6 minus 4 radical 2 plus 4 radical 3 minus 8 all over 4. And 4, 4, 4, 8 with a 4. So it looks like we can cancel a 4 out of everything and leave that guy with a 2. So, the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 2. And this should be our exact value for the tangent of 37.5 degrees. Let's go ahead and grab a calculator and just ensure that this is correct. Okay, so here's our calculator. We'll kind of push things up a little bit so we can see. And so we'll use inverse of tangent and we'll put in this ratio and we'll see what we have. So minus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 2, close it off, and yeah, 75 divided by 2, which also is 37.5 degrees. So we can see that this does indeed work. So here is the process that we used. We had a half angle identity for tangent, we had a couple of supporting values as well that we needed, and we worked our way down to the bottom, and we saw that the exact value is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 2, and that's the tangent of 37.5 degrees.